welcome to another spirit baby reading of course you know i'm ali already by now welcome to my channel if you're new stay i love you already okay um i'm a psychic medium if you're if you're new <laughs> if i'm new if you're new and i say things sometimes i get tongue tied sometimes i pause sometimes i can read things that may not be there and sometimes i like i said i pause i freeze um it's not anything to be alarmed about or quiet um about it's just that i get messages and i need to i get too many downloads it all comes at once i'm human so when it hits me i need to just be quiet and find a way to translate all of what i heard into one beautiful sentence without speaking over my own self right let me breathe in and out <sighs> um yes so today is a little different I'm going to be channeling your baby, like, word for word. It's not going to be, um, uh, I'm already getting downloads. It's not going to be, like, a pick a car, like, you know, oh, this is what it says, that's what it says. Yes, I'll say that, but I'm going to say word for word how your baby wants to speak to you through me. Take what resonates. You know your child. You know you. You know your situation. This is timeless. You may not know, um, resonate with it right now, but you will in the future, or it could have been a past energy for you. This is a general. If you want to book a reading with me down below in the link, I have a restaurant style menu because it's Ali's Way Tarot. It's the Chisme channel where I give all the gossip and all the tea. Chisme means um, gossip in Spanish. Um, these are my links right here, right? You saw something new for those that are my oh geez they already know that i didn't have this before and i bedazzled it that says ali's way and tarot <laughs> so yeah and it has all my links there meet me on my um my instagram right now you're on my youtube but that's my direct me right there you want to book a reading with me the link is also down in the bio restaurants time menu i have short readings long in-depth readings all sorts of readings twin flames uh karmics spare babies not astrology uh career I can go into past life, but I just, right now that's a little bit closed because um, that's a lot for me. My um, my energy gets attacked at night. I get psychic attacks. So I'm not dipping into that yet, but I know how to do it, but I don't want to put that on the shop yet. But um, I have manifestation candles, tarot cards, all sorts of stuff there. Meet me there. Um, candles will be coming soon and a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> it's a whole, it's a lot. It's coming soon. For those that have stuck around with me from see i'm starting for those who have stuck around with me from since i first started thank you for keep supporting me subscribe like and share hit the bell button because i want you to be updated every time i do a reading regardless of what topic it can be on i also do celebrity readings as well for fun right we get into twin flame and spirit babies mostly here and karmics right um yeah so without further ado this is pile one and that is pile two at the end i may pull some dice you know we call them ice cubes in this house we don't call them cubes and crunchies are the the charms so yeah i might pull some ice cubes not crunchies crunchies are like i don't feel crunchies today but maybe an initial or so we'll see how it goes how i feel but right now we're going to go into some energies and i'm going to pull some I already pre-pulled some cards to save me and you some time okay and if you want to check out astrology i have a club zodiac now yes your girl's doing big things and so down in the link below there will be the club zodiac there you can check me out and um support me if you have libra or scorpio in your placement and you want to know what's, what's your blockages for this week i just did that so i hope that you enjoy that as well it could be anywhere in your placement sunny doesn't have to be sun or moon but anyway let's get to it there's two cards originally there was one and then another fell out and i was like no let me shuffle for pile two and then pile two cards had two so i said you know what pile one deserves it too as well so we're gonna have two major arcanas today okay the first is the devil and it says these days remember i'm clara clara audience clairvoyant so i will say things sometimes if you don't see it there it's my channeling all right three days later there was Pooh sitting on his bench, dangling his legs, and there beside him was one pot of honey. 
right? So Pooh's sitting there by himself, right? With nothing to do. And all of a sudden, there's honey that pops up. Tells me right away that temptation kind of energy. The devil's like, here, Pooh. Kind of like that if you're a Christian. Um, I believe in all religions. Now, I practice all religions. But um, the Adam and Eve kind of thing, right? All of a sudden, she wants that forbidden apple, right? That kind of energy. Now we have here the death card. They had to come to a theme with twisted and tumbled between high rock banks. And Christopher Robin saw at once how dangerous it was. So all of a sudden, Christopher Robin wants to go like full force. And then he stops because he's like, oh, oh, oh shit, I'm about to die. <laughs> you know, at the end of something, there's change. Before I die, let me stop myself right rebirth he recollected his thoughts so here is the devil and here's a recollect recollection of like pause right so some of you this is what your babies are telling me some of you may have done some toxic addictions smoking drinking sexing if you're in a happy healthy whole committed relationship it could be your toxic traits of like gossiping and then realizing wait a minute this is bad for me let me backtrack Oh, wait a minute, eating that cake is bad for me. Let me stop myself. Because it's there. The temptation is there. But you want to backtrack after you realize that you're about to go into the pit hole. Right? And right outside my house at this very second, there's kids screaming. So your children don't really want to emphasize that. Whatever you're going to do. If you need to rest and you want to sweep and clean, then stop. Because right now you're going to go into that pause calm down you're gonna get in trouble with the universe kind of kind of energy you know like relax yourself if you want to have a cake and you realize that it's bad and you want to lose weight why would you go and have the devil speak to you take that death that rebirth and become a new person and say you know what i don't need it today right you want to go to a party and you know you don't have much money then why would you let the devil tempt you and say that hey it's come on it's just one it's fun it's, no it's not Stay home, meditate, go into a, a death phase, a hermit phase, and re rebirth yourself, right? That's what it's saying. Funny, because I just spoke about blockages in my astrology reading, and so now for this to come up on my own channel is amazing. Some signs right here is the ant, right? No matter how small your task or input seems, it is still essential for the bigger pictures. Per the whale. Speak your truth, communicate clearly, and from the heart, and bridge, uh, bridges any gaps and connect deeper with your loved ones. Okay, I've got messages there already coming forward. Platypus, imagine it, feel it, and receive it. Tiger, some of you may be Latina. I'm hearing Tigre. Um, you are able to deal with um, with life more spontaneously, and your intuition will always guide you fast or act quickly, right? And it says Thanksgiving, so fall. Uh, there's a lot of energies are gonna happen in the fall for this particular pile. Something tells me you guys have Libra placements. It could be wrong, but this can be big. Unfold your wings and go for that something important. You have to harvest a lot of abundance. And the last card is Lemur. And for Lemur, it says stay focused on achieving your life goals despite the challenges that you face and spend less time thinking and more time acting on your plans, okay? So here, let me just do something real quick and then I'll tell you what I'm feeling. Hello, my name is. That's some signs your baby's showing you, right? Baby toys, you got ballet, you got books. I do me. Hold on. Lately, my sh has been acting up. Okay. Ballet, you got books. Your baby is so determined to get this message out because I'm like, my tone is strict, but I'm like, I don't want to sound like I'm disciplining you because you're obviously a grown adult. But a mermaid and butterfly. Okay. Whew. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing and then I'm going to channel. Um, yeah, so go deep within. You have a lot. Of, I did, just like I said, I did an astrology reading like less than like 20 minutes before this. And I was like, let me hop on and do my spirit babies because I love them and it's been a while. Um, right here is the crystal of the day, by the way. I forgot to show you guys in the beginning, but it is heart chakra. It's, it's, um, rose quartz, raw rose quartz too, which has a lot more energy than the crystallized ones. So they put the film over. Anywho, um... And then that, when I did that astrology, go check it out. But a little sneak peek is that I spoke 
to both signs, especially Libra, right, heavy, that this full moon in Libra was coming to not play. It came on everybody in their mother's necks and didn't come at all to play no games and it's going to snatch you up. <laughs> and so it did that. And I feel like it did that for you and it did it strongly. And even if you don't realize it, it's coming with that equinox to swift what the Libra moon couldn't do. And let me tell you, I'm preaching now, <laughs> like, but it's, it's, it's what I'm feeling. I'm going to just say how I say it. Um, you have to go deep within and lose that toxic addictions, lose the drugs, lose the alcohol, lose the sex, lose the bad habits, lose the self-sabotaging thoughts, let it go, lose it all, drop it all, <laughs> forget it all. <laughs> and pay attention to, to deep within, go in your, 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 uh, inner childhood, um, can't curse too much on this page but like shit go into your inner um your inner childhood your inner phase of like hermit mode like crabs when they is it crabs i think it's crabs they get new shells when the shell is over and up baby reborn yourself be a butterfly yeah come out okay your kids are ready to talk i'm just gonna let them talk mom dad like I said before with the cards, you need to get the death and rip the devil out of your mind. You need to come back and repeat yourself reborn. Not in the sense that you're going to pass away, but in the sense that you need to be a whole new person. Mm -hmm. So, as summer is coming into the beginning phase, you need to have that cocoon moment. And you need to become a beautiful butterfly. You need to express yourself and be a beautiful eagle. Soar your wings and spread them. Because you're actually very, very smart. You're very intelligent. I chose you to be my parent for a reason. You can go to deep depths with me. And you can go up on the high seas with me. You are a multi-dimensional human being. And yes, we all are made of all energy. But you exude the truths and you stand the test of time in a way that nobody can do before. And that is why I chose you to be my parent. I want you to read books to me when I come. I want you to have baby toys and play with me. And I want you to play with me as you will play with your younger self. And seek both of us as a way for you to re rebirth yourself and have a re redemption. I understand that your childhood was messed up. And maybe you even have some self-doubts deep within. But you need to go from deep within and use that to rise. One significant movie is Encanto. Be like Luisa. I know that you have a lot of burdens on your, on your shoulders. But push through. And then, when you're by yourself, get vulnerable. Learn to be vulnerable. Accept vulnerability. And you will see that you will change as a human being. And I love you. I'm watching over you. You can do everything. You will do everything. And by the autumn, you will see that things will let up. Not only will the trees will fall and a new phase will begin into winter. Just like the rebirth itself, life is a cycle. And so are you. You are Mother Earth on Earth. With every season that changes, so do you. Accept these changes and see yourself grow. Watch yourself and observe yourself in the way you will observe me. And just know, like I said before, I'm watching you and I love you just as much as you love me. Yeah. Oh. All right, Paula. <laughs> that was what your babies had to say. Any more cards or messages that you can tell your mama or your daddy? Again, you can still be a dad and be a mom because mother is a nurturing kind of energy, honey. It doesn't mean you have to have like titties and some stomach and, you know, the female anatomy. <laughs> All right, let's pull some cards. I don't shuffle on camera because of the noises that it makes, but let's go. Okay. We will reconnect soon. The glimpse of white light you've seen has been me. I'm protecting you in all realms. One more, baby. 
I love these. I come to you in TV shows. Oh my, that is so nice. Oh, yes, okay. Can you watch a baby show with me? Sometimes I'll let you. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I'll let you. I heard, I heard sometimes I'll let you change the remote. Anyway, can you watch a baby show with me sometimes? I'll, it'll let me know that you care. And one more. When I come to Earth, it'll be a party. Okay, oh wait, one more. I can't help myself, I love these cards. No bottle feeding me. Great, so what it's telling me here is that, of course, nurturing energies, of course, but I get tongue tied. I get tongue tied. <laughs> um, what it's telling me is that your baby wants you to always the breastfeeding is something that a lot of moms are against because it hurts them, or they don't produce milk, also, they don't like the latching kind of feeling. But it's saying, um, yeah, latch because when you latch, then you'll have the empathy, you'll have the bonding, you'll have the one on one time. And if you don't see it that way, then your child sees it that way. To, bond with you to be nurturing with you to love upon you and be around you and hug you and cuddle you in the whole nine that you know breastfeeding moms usually experience i mean you could bottle feed and still have that a beautiful experience but when it's like titty to baby you the baby's on like literally having your milk drinking from you and you know it's just a whole different feeling said it again like twice it said right we're gonna have a party and i come to you in tv shows and all realms so like it's a very close-knit kind of feeling um babies okay babies have portals so um Babies have promos. Babies have promos. <laughs> Babies do have promotions. Babies have promos when it comes to like television and stuff like that. And they they speak to you through portals. And with the portals, and sometimes it goes through like television. That's their way of promoting themselves. They also come through thunderstorm lights, all sorts of like light. Um, you'll see us all sorts of light sources they will they will find a way to come forward with that um yeah so that's what i've got for you for pile one i'm sorry i'm everywhere it, it's not me when i channel that's what happens i go everywhere i go everywhere because they go everywhere and i go where they go but um yeah that's what they're saying like their babies have promos because when they promote themselves they want you to be like hi mom it's me i, I look like you you know you may be watching bridgerton but hey I, here i am yeah <laughs> That's their promotion, and they speak through you through portals, and they um, they do that a lot. Actually, I've seen it with my own life, and they have portals, especially when you charge your cell phone and stuff like that. Don't be too alarmed if you're freaked out. I'm sorry, but it's true. Where you charge your phone because it's a light source, they come through like those little portals to you know get to you, so they can see you and hug you and lay with you and all sorts of stuff. I'll get into that in another video. But thank you so much for joining me, Pal 1. And if you want to stick around for Pal 2, because you may have some messages there, then hey, baby, feel free. I, I'm not going anywhere. And I hope you aren't either. But so subscribe, like, share, comment, and all sorts of stuff. Um, the next reading will be on Spirit Babies and um, what's going to go on with the Equinox. That's a heavy energy. So I did that. I asked the babies before the Equinox came and they felt overwhelmed. So I did that. And we have some celebs about like some celebs coming. What are we gonna pick? But they will be down below. So everything is down below. And again, check out my zodiac reading. I just did it. So yay, bye. Hello, pal too. Okay, let's get into your reading, honey. Okay. So we have the chariot and the magician. Um, I know chariot is about an energy that is full force going forward, and magician is making magic. So we're here, um, it says, like I said before, I'm a clear, clear audience, clairvoyant person, a medium, psychic medium. I will say and see things that you don't see if the cards are not, if it doesn't feel like I do it right now, if it's not on the cards. 
um, I also get tongue tied sometimes because I get a lot of messages I will slow down reiterate and come back okay and also when I get silent it's me channeling I'm a human being and when I get a lot of messages I need to be quiet and figure out a way to speak it in a way that I can be translated got it let's go it says here the chariot he gave a deep sigh like <sighs> picked up his bear like that <laughs> picked up his bear by the leg and walked off to the door, trailing Winnie the Pooh behind him. Mm. Progress and movement. And the magician is, after breakfast, he had said it over and over to himself until he had learned it off by heart. And now he was humming it right through properly. The power to manifest. Okay, okay let's start with manifestation first right and then we'll get into the chariot because sometimes cards can be read from left to right or right from left depending on the clairvoyant person that's channeling it right now usually i do left to right but right now i'm getting right to left magician when you do law of attraction whatever you want money business person um a house anything you say it so much it becomes a part of your deep subconscious mind when you get into that pineal gland, that third eye, that subconscious mind, and you say, I want a house, 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 I want a house. I'm probably annoying you right now by saying it around six times. And that's okay, because I've pissed you off somehow in your deep brain, which I did two things. One, I'm shutting up your ego, and he hates it, or she hates it. And, you know, ego's been the core center of the self-doubt so it's like shut up don't say that to her or don't say that to him but yes i'm gonna get a house i'm getting a house i'm getting a house that's what it does pushes that ego aside and kind of triggers it that's why you often think things are hard your it keeps trying to speak over the manifestation you have to learn to keep even when you hear it over and over like i can't i can't i can't i can't do it i can't it's hard when it's like that keep going that's why they say keep going because you're actually getting to the center of shutting up your it right second thing i'm doing is i'm activating your pineal gland by you hearing me so much times that it's become like a song almost where i'm clapping my fingers and i say i'm getting a house i'm getting a house i'm getting a house you're actually turned on part of you to your brain and you're like yes i am getting a house i'm getting a house. you're singing it with me and you it's going into your subconscious mind because your brain the part that wants to manifest you have to be wanting to do it you have to want to do it or else it won't budge that part right there is like yes i believe it and i I'm, I'm, i like the song it's great it's wonderful yes yes when you do that right i'm activating it it's going in your brain eventually you will believe that you're getting a house that's why it's very important to be careful of who you hang around who you listen to as far as music because singers have a vibration i know the music may sound nice but i'm not bashing any celebrity i'm just saying like for example right people love beyonce so much she has a life of her own <laughs> right i'm because she's a popular artist i have to use her she's a life of her own any funk any drama that she's got and you keep playing her music, you're gonna pick up her problems subconsciously. And so you, we already know some of the drama that went on in her life. And I don't need to say it on a spare baby channel, but you are inviting that energy into your home of subconsciously, right? Right. It could be the part where she's like, who runs the world's girls? You feel empowered. You're gonna hang around a group of people that really believe that girls do run the world. And then if you hear her Lemonade album, um, some of the songs bashes her husband because he was a cheater. You're inviting that in your life, right? It's just the truth because we, we are all energy and that is energy. Those songs that you get mad at, those songs that you bash people on, it's energy. And for a long time, I've been guided by many people to say it on my channel. And I'm like, no, because I, not that I'm afraid. I just don't want to um rub the bear the wrong way with you guys but it's today your babies want to talk about it so i have to bring it up i'm not saying to every day go to church and sing a hymn 
but I'm saying of like the singers that you are mindful of if they have drama in their life Summer Walker is one for example her and London on the track are not at good terms right now don't play her music religiously to invite that kind of baby mama and baby daddy drama in your world right and if you like her music because her voice is heavenly she's so very talented but if you want to listen to her music when you close the night out go back into your goals and overpower your energy right and be like well i have a happy healthy whole relationship and you have to keep saying that to your brain so your brain will recognize that summer walker's music that just entered your subconscious mind is not something you want to manifest in your life you just like the song so that when you script and you believe and you say it over and over again your manifestations for your personal life your brain will know how to differentiate the two and say that was just the song you know cheryl rebecca <laughs> tim john whoever this is their life and they want a house right that's what i'm saying and then it was a six minute rant but it was a very necessary one because that's what your kids want to say and power through that manifestations and don't let that it be a part of your world with the chariot energy coming forward it's very interesting because in the right away deck the um the chariot card is the man and woman kind of looking at like a you know a, per a priestess going forward and in this particular deck it's kind of me more melancholy where where Christopher Robin is like, oh, come on, Pooh, let's just go kind of defeat, you know, defeatish. But that could be the message that sometimes you feel defeated in, in an energy that's supposed to be uplifted and positive. You kind of see the downsides to it. I know mental health plays a big role in it. A lot of us are going through seasonal depression, anxiety. Sometimes it could also be environmental depression where you have your parents, to, you know, talk down on you and you don't feel enough. And that's and I'm not saying that you should disregard how you feel. Absolutely not. If you feel sad, sit in that, but don't sit in it too long. Try to get up, right? He gave a deep sigh. So like, take a sigh, take a breath, take a minute and get up and get up and understand that you are enough and that you are the core of your manifestations. You are the co-creator to your reality, right? That is the message for today with the tarot and that was a that was a big one but i get serious i know i laugh a lot but I, I get serious when it needs to be serious and i just felt like that was a heavy very it was heavy but it, it was necessary i'm sorry i had to tell you I, one thing about ali's way tarot is that ali's gonna tell you the truth and even if it sounds rough it comes from a place of love and genuinity because i i know that i'm happy that you guys watch me and you give me ratings and subscribes but one thing i will never do is bullshit you I'm sorry. Like, no. Ever. And I will do that even in personals. I will tell you the truth in a very loving and empathetic way. Because I am very empathetic and I cry a lot. So I'm going to always give it to you in a soft, gentle way. But in an honest way. And I channel through tone. I know my tone comes sometimes can be a little rough. That's my spirit guides. They come forward and they're high, very high up in a way that they're kind of strict. And I try to tone it down just a little not to offend you guys. But... I'm sorry, but I just had to be honest and be my authentic self today. Every day I am, but especially today. All right, we got the armadillo, the flamingo, um, the orca. I hope that's how you say it. It's getting a little warm, guys, and Ali has asthma, so if you see me, like, breathe a little bit and open my water. Be mindful that I'm going to come right back. Uh, there's a lot more, so I'm just going to put this to the side really quickly and then try to look best. And guys, I'm getting a bigger surprise that so I could be able to do all the cards at ONCA. Oh, that's how the, I'd be feeling in my asthma situation, like the pelican. <laughs> um, but you know, summer's not nice to me. Anyway, um... It says, when you judge in others, it's reflected in you. I just said law of attraction. Whatever you attract. I do. You see, I shuffle these cards, but I don't be seeing them. I just shuffle, and it goes like this. It's face down. And then when I pick them up, I put them forward. It's crazy how I said, when you judge others, it's reflected in you. Because whoever your circle is around, good or bad, that's your 
subconscious thoughts if you believe that um if you believe that you're gonna get a car and you believe that you're important and you're high up on top and that you like people who give and you like people who are nice and caring that's your energy given out if you see a friend back betraying you backstabbing you a boyfriend betraying you backstabbing you cheating you disregarding all sorts of things can go wrong i'm not gonna get into this the list of fears but you know some stuff that's been happening to you it's you pushed out everything that you do is your fault i'm not talking about sexual abuse i'm not condoning that or violence no but i'm talking about any other stuff um you know we do come here on on earth to have a contract everything that we happens is because for a contract is for a sole purpose i will do a sole purpose um reading on that one day and go into like the whole thing if you're interested in it I've been saying that for a while, but that might trigger a few people because I know that a lot of people in here, um, you guys have been hurt a lot and you know, it's, um, I don't want to bring up wounds and make you feel like I'm insensitive when I'm not, but we do sign a contract and sometimes when our, even our twin flames ghost us, we sign that, sign that because of our past life and what our past life needed to learn in this life and it just goes on. So, you know, when you have friends and you get karma, good or bad, sometimes you're like, what did I do? I'm really, really nice. Um, I don't understand why Lucinda would do this to me. It's your past life karma coming up in this life to clear it out. Okay? That's the, the nicest way I can say that. Even your own parents. I know my mom, for example, is one of the biggest, you know, putas out there. And that's my past life. Probably I used to behave like her. And so in this life, I'm getting my karma to learn how to be nicer in this lifetime. That's what I'm saying. I'll use me as a vessel and explanation. Um, the Orca. You have the strength to persevere, perseverance to stay on and courage on course <laughs> with courage, with course with accomplishing your goals. Yeah, it will be shown. You guys have a longer reading, but I don't mind if I have to sit here and tell you all day. It's the end of a phase and the beginning of something brighter, new life, new ideas, new people entering. I just said new people because you're on a different vibration now. You're taking back, you're starting to script and manifest. You know how to consciously manifest. And if you don't want somebody who meditates, right? I didn't, yeah, I'll get in it. It's okay to say no when needed to. Parrot, be mindful what you tell it who you tell your business to every what was that? parrots repeat everything unicorn magic is all around you have to believe you guys are so magical sickening in a good way slow and steady wins the race you are making progress everything is supposed to arrive at the right time we've got the koala take time so much is needed to relax i just said relax and uh Go from with the flow and last one we got baby is the crab and we got not all paths lead directly to your goals sometimes a sideway approach is necessary sometimes spirit will actually derail you for your protection um i can like i said i always use my personal life as an explanation i know that my twin i want union so bad when i saw him he looked like a hobo the other day so you know sometimes it'll um it'll pause for a minute just so that you could just so you could you know get your result in the end that person may need more work so right now spirit is taking you away from them even though it may sound quite painful and i gotta remember that advice my own self sometimes i heal with this pile oh my god i love doing readings with spirit babies because i heal with you guys you have no idea like i said you consciously manifest right scripting um like if i if you started to want to for example right I know that when I um, started to realize that you can actually, whatever you think you can control, I uh, grew up very Christian and I, um, the people say that it's the devil when you know how you can control your thoughts. That's not true. Um, and so I know that when you start to awake yourself to the spiritual realm and you're aware that, hey, you're on a twin flame journey and people saying to give up is not the right advice, right? And you may have a friend that says, quit on him give up on him or a girlfriend give up on her quit on her and you are aware that there is a way for you to manifest that person back into your life and you can help heal their chakra systems and you can telepathy them and you have that kind of a knowledge about power and the person that you used to hang around with no longer um is on that vibrational wavelength where they're like let's pray let's pray hopefully things will turn around and if it doesn't then it wasn't meant to be that's that's true 
But if you're aware how you can literally manipulate energy in a very godlike and divine way, and your people who you hung around with, family or friends, don't believe that, it's time to cut that out because you have a better mission in this world. You're right? If you believe that you're going to use script on some paper, you're going to get a Benz, and your families and friends are telling you, um, if the Lord gives you a Benz, it will. If Krishna gives you a Benz, then maybe. If Ganesh gives you a Benz, maybe. And you're like, no. Krishna and God and Jesus and all the other goddesses, they want me to really sit here and manifest and do work with them. Not me just sit there and hope on a prayer. But they were, they're working with me, right? Then it's time to cut those people out because you're on a higher level. Not saying that they're roaches, but you know, you if you why would you sit in the gutter? That's what it's saying. Cut those people out. Hang around people that believe in the law of attraction and the higher power at the same time. You can do both. Yeah, I'm Charlie. <laughs> ah, Harry Potter, superheroes, orange balloons, hot air balloons, doves, and blue. That is for you. Okay, and we'll see what your babies have to say, and then I'll channel divinely. That is amazing. I love that. I just, I gave you a, a oh my god. I gave you some serious stuff, and I'm not sorry because you know what? You needed that. All right, let's pull some. It says here, I love you, Mom. Please keep going, Mama. Yeah, you're a ter terrific Mama. And when you are down, I'm next to you, uplifting. One more we've got is I'm protecting you in all the realms. And yeah. So yeah, your baby wants to say, hey mom, you're a rock star, you can do it. I believe in you very, very highly. You are a man magical manifester. I want you to put a pillow underneath your head with a paper underneath that, that has all of your goals and your intentions and understand that you are magical. You need to have a chakra cleanse, mom, for the good of your own benefit. And as you do the chakra cleanse, I want you to visualize me standing next to you because I will be there to help Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael and Archangel Haniel to cleanse and clear all of your energies. Breathe in and out and drink a lot of water, Mom. Stay hydrated and know that I'm with you. I will be with you soon, within a year or two. And as I am with you, we will become one as a family and clear the past karma that we once had in a past life. You gave birth to me in the 1940s, and you may not remember, but we shared a short life together until you were 70. Until you were 70, and you passed away from dementia. That's crazy. I came back in this life to nurture you the way that you once nurtured me. Because in a second past life, I was not a very healthy baby. But this life, I will be. And I want to thank you and I will always be around you. Because I feel indebted to you. And you are an awesome parent in all lifetimes. I love you. Wow. So that's very specific for someone out there. And if, like I said, you guys want to book a reading with me, you can. I do spare baby messages. And I do channel just like this. Um, so I write cards and type with bio. The, um... So I do cards and I type with like in you know within your bio, your your Instagram bio within your the Instagram messages, but I um do channel on the deeper messages and the YouTube reading. And if you guys love this thing, give it a thumbs up. And I'm sorry for the ranting, but I had to give you a message and it was necessary, pal. Too, I didn't know where it would go, but your children, they happen to use me as a very passionate vessel to not only channel with their own voice, but also to channel with cards and from divination. So thank you so much, Pau 2, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I love you. Come back and join me.